Cosplay. Definition. The practice of dressing up as a character from a film, book, or video game. But, what if there was more to it than that? Let's go behind the costumes, behind the creative, behind the makeup. Within this community, there is a beacon of humanity that shines through. A beating heart of inspiration, freedom, and acceptance. It brings people together with no judgment, no agenda, and no prejudice. You can be whoever you want to be, and not be judged for who you are. Here you will hear the real life stories of the cosplay community rarely ever heard. As we go behind the makeup. The infamous Harley Quinn. So my name is Laura, I'm 21 years old, I'm a full-time music and education student and part-time teacher tutoring piano and trumpet. As a kid I was always a bit nerdy, I loved Pokemon. Pokemon was my very very first kind of obsession and then from Pokemon it was Harry Potter and then from Harry Potter it just kind of snowballed into all things geeky and fantastic. Uh, I was bullied as a child and I would often turn to video games as my kind of escape. I have always loved dressing up so that was my thing when I was a toddler was to dress up as Simba from The Lion King and I had my own like lair, pride rock and all of that so I guess that kind of followed me through primary school, like dressing up as Hermione for book week and high school, all the dress up parties, it's always been something I've loved doing. I've always known cosplay has been there, I've always known about Comic Con, it's just only been till this year have I found a character that I've been truly passionate about uh, cosplaying and also getting the time and the money, which is a big factor. So that um, has been a huge influence on my decision to cosplay now. Why Harley? So I chose Harley because I have always loved the character. Through the Batman animated series in particular, I loved watching the, that TV show when I was younger. And having Suicide Squad um, kind of bring to life Harley and Margot do such an amazing job just gave me that extra push I needed to to um, cosplay her. I've always wanted to do an old school Harley cosplay, which I'll do in the future for sure, but having uh, it come to life, I definitely just needed to do it and I thought I could pull it off. So, so that's why I chose Harley. <laughs> shoot with Batman near the river and what did you think of it Josh? I mean, I mean Batman. My muscles hurt. <laughs> I hate you. The cosplay community in Australia is actually a lot bigger than I originally expected. There's barbecues uh, here and there and it's really really lovely to see that anyone who cosplays in Australia is just warmly embraced. Uh, everyone's friends with each other on Facebook. It's actually a small community, but it's a really strong community uh, in Sydney. Everyone is so accepting and warm. There aren't really many people that make it difficult or uncomfortable. It's everyone's accepting, and that's what I really like about the cosplay community. No one's bringing anyone down. It's always lifting each other up, and that's the beautiful thing about cosplay as well. <laughs> Awesome, thank you so much. I've found it challenging to get out there and cosplay, especially because of the character I've chosen, Harley Quinn, is got quite a sexual outfit, I guess you could say. So uh, having to get over that confidence barrier and wear something quite revealing and embody a character that is very, 
I don't know, it's, she's a very controversial character because a lot of people don't ship abusive relationships, which is fair enough. So she is a victim of a, an abuse, abusive relationship with the Joker. So I guess dressing up as someone like that, a lot of people get confused thinking that I support uh, abusive relationships or that I normally wear very, very, very little clothing with fishnet stockings. So I guess that is a bit of um, a downfall to the character that I, I've chosen to cosplay very recently. Always have fun. Fun is the main thing about cosplay for me and I think everyone should look at it that way. You have to enjoy what you do and cosplay for me is something that I really enjoy and I have a lot of fun doing. My favourite thing about cosplay is meeting people and seeing their faces light up. I'm here with Catwoman and Batgirl. Do you want to say hello? Hi! Hi. Uh, they, it's so funny to think that a lot of people think that I look identical to, to Margot when I'm in my cosplay. So, uh, in a way, a lot of people feel like they're meeting the real deal, especially little children. I've had little kids run up to me. I've also had little kids run away from me because they were so scared. So, I guess meeting the people is the best part about cosplay. Cosplay. You can be whoever you want to be and not be judged for who you are. Makeshift pure bread that's been spoon fed since on the assembly line. I got into cosplaying purely by chance. It was about two years ago, I was in my bathroom uh, looking in my shaving mirror, and someone was in my eyes, so I was squinting. And I thought, it's a bit Heisenbergish. So, Two Goes Headquarters or Java Joe's took a selfie, and apparently somebody saw me there, took a photograph and they put it on Facebook and it's been all over the internet.